help me, I am going broke, paying for all of my kids' sporting crap, games, everything. It's too much money. What do you do? Don't worry, I got you. Here I'm gonna give you my best money-saving hacks as a mom of six with kids that are in and out of sports constantly, football, volleyball, basketball, you name it. Here's how I don't spend our entire paycheck just on sports stuff. One of the biggest, most simplest hacks I can teach you is to go to like a once upon a child or whatever you have around yourself and just look for their shoes. Our boys go through shoes like no other. So this is the easiest way. Instead of spending 100 to $150 on cleats, I can spend 20 to $30 on cleats. And yes, they're dirty, they can be washed, but look at like, this kid probably used these for one season and I get to get maybe two to three boys out of this now. Now here's a hack so you don't have to bring every kid with you to go get shoes. Take a string or twine, cut it in the size of your boy's foot or your girl's foot, whatever, and then just put it against the shoe and see if it lines up. If it fits, it fits. And then the next like money saving thing I have for you, if you want healthy snacks, you gotta go to Sam's Club or Costco. That helps you buy in bulk and save money there. Now I'm gonna start out this video telling you exactly what you probably don't wanna hear but you gotta hear it because it's gotta happen. If you wanna save money, you have to be making your food at home. So I do this whenever I can find the time. I have two go-to snacks for like sports activities that the kids actually will like, like every single kid, and that's muffins and jerky. So whenever I make muffins, I literally make like 10 dozen at a time. I make so many muffins at one time, and then I just freeze them. I know it sucks to hear that, but honestly it does help. So anytime that you're gonna be home for a few hours, just make the muffins and then you just have to get up like every 20 minutes to take out muffins and put new ones in. And then here, if you go to 1898mama.com and just type in jerky, you can get my go-to jerky recipe. I've used this with deer, which is our typical one. And I've used it with beef, um, what else, turkey. It's just really, really good. All the kids like it. I think I've only had one person that didn't like it and he just doesn't like sweet stuff. So the brown sugar in the jerky, he was just not a fan of. So I thought I'd give you a real life moment here. You get to see a little bit of chaos in my life. I actually did not have any kids here at this time. But the dogs chase the chicken in, they know how to open up the screen door by themselves, so it's always chaotic. But anyway, back to what we were doing while I was making muffins. I started getting the marinade going for the jerky. This is quite a process, it takes a lot of time. But if you can get, you know, wild game or deer or whatever, and it's basically free meat, this is such a cheap snack and it's delicious and it's good for you. You're controlling the ingredients, lots of protein. Try it out if you can. These things I'm about to show you are just things that have made my life just a little bit easier and saving money, just carrying things, you know, all the things. This thing, I'm sure you guys have seen it, it was all over TikTok like last summer and even this summer, but it's just got little sections. And honestly, I wish I would have bought even one more, but preferably two more, so I had three just because I do have six kids. But you just put different snacks in each thing. This is really good, really, really easy. You can just pull it out. I put it in like a big a big bag, pull it out, kids have snacks right there. I would like to have one for during the game and then for sure for one like after a game because as soon as we get in the car, everybody's like, oh, I'm so hungry, we need to go somewhere. So if we have like a snack that I could just like throw back in the back seat, that would be great. But for now, I'm just usually throwing like granola bars or I'll put snacks in just snack bags and just throw each kid a snack bag. And then this thing, I got years ago at the tall Target Dollar Center and it's, it's just a six cup caddy. I literally just fill it up when we leave the house. Basically everywhere we go, I'll just fill it up, different cups. Um, you wanna put like the heaviest ones on the end and then I'll always end up putting like the baby ones in there. But this thing is really, really nice to help carry stuff. And then I always, 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 I just got this at Walmart for 20 bucks. It's a Hydro Jug. It's not as nice as like the ones that I got from actual Hydro Jug, but it does great. Um, fill it up with ice and water before I leave no matter where I go. I love that it has a little pocket because I always have cash in there just in case. 
And then I have a half a gallon ready to fill up kids' drinks when they run out. I also got these things. I get these things from Dollar General. They're literally a dollar each, but they have them like any store you go to. And it doesn't have to be Sonic ones. And actually, I don't think I'll buy these kinds again because none of the kids actually like them. But just the water flavorings. So when other kids are getting Gatorades and your kids are whining that they want a juice, you can throw this in one of their water things. So in each of these, there's six sticks in each for a dollar. Like, come on, that's less than a quarter for a kid to have a juice. This little wagon here, I actually put off buying for a year. My friend was telling me to buy one and I didn't want to spend a hundred bucks. I ended up buying it on Amazon Prime for like $70 on one of their sales. Totally worth it when I have all the kids. Definitely buy one of those wagons if you can afford it. it makes things so much easier. And then this backpack I put in there, it's just got toys and coloring books and all that sort of stuff. And then I also keep a first aid kit in that backpack too. And then I'm just throwing in chairs. We have a football game this morning after our volleyball game. So I'm doing little kid chairs, big kid chairs, and then I have a big blanket as well too. So this is pretty much what it looks like when we're packed. I gotta grab snacks still and put it in here, but I've got the water bottles, water bottles. And then obviously, Mom, I saw the Marshall that will watch his that Marshall talk. Yep, iPads, and then our gab watch for one of the kids to use when they go. I'll go to the park just in case. Then my son should be bringing his football stuff and we're basically ah. ready to go.